So just over a week ago, I covered 607 powers that we know exist that are not in the current release of Power World. But I have found yet another power I've seen nobody else point out, never mind talk about. Today we check all these powers out as we do sometime in the near future expect new content with new pals so it's interesting to see if any of these pals actually do make it into the game how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and turn those post notifications on so you never miss a video so there are a few pals we know exist from this power world universe that are not in the game right now last week i covered six or so which we have seen via trailers and a couple data mines but i now have actually found another pal i've seen nobody mention at all so let's jump straight into it so going back over the original trailers to see if i missed anything i actually did the original power world logo as you can see on the screen now features a pal i've seen nowhere before so just here guys as you can see it is scion locking dog again i've seen no one mention this what is this thing and where did it escape to was this cut from the game will it make a reappearance i ain't sure if i'm honest with you now this image is one of the very very first released but interestingly all powers on this image besides two are in the current game now the two are obviously this little scion dog which I believe of no doubt will be an ice element pal. But the other pal we see here guys which ain't in the game yet is that flyer top left. Now this pal we do actually see within this trailer but only for a few seconds and we see it being rolled. Now as I've said I've covered this pal already but on that video I actually got a few comments saying this could be an early version of Frost Stallion. Which I admit does look a little like for stallion from the certain angle we have but in my opinion it's far too different design wise this flyer only has two legs and i believe it's a completely different base animal or the animal this power is based on for stallion is no doubt a flying mythical horse this power looks more along the lines of like an ice dragon type power which is pretty cool but very interesting to say the least so what other powers do we know exist from the trailers well, we also have this Chinese mythical dragon type pal. Now we see this in the distance of this trailer right here. And while even from this distance, guys, you can see wherever this thing is, it's pretty big for sure. Now we also see this image of it too, which I found floating around on the internet. This was taken from a trailer, uh, but I actually can't find this in any trailer I've seen. But it is official that I can confirm. But looking at this, guys, it's a cool image, but you can see the size of this thing. By the size of its head, it's probably one of the biggest powers in this game. Now it also looks like the power trainer is about to chuck a sphere at it, giving us the indication that this may eventually be a power we can catch for ourselves and fly on. Pretty cool. Now talking about big or one of the biggest powers in the game, this next power, if it is one we can actually catch and use, is probably even bigger. So this pal we saw in one of the first trailers, which is actually carrying a player with their powers on its back. This is definitely something we don't see in game right now. And I actually speculated on my first video regarding these secret powers that this may in fact be a certain form of transport to maybe a different island or a different location. Because as we've seen on the, the roadmap, there's new islands coming to the game. So maybe guys, we need to use transport like this to actually get to said places we also saw within the early trailers too uh, rockets being built we saw cars tanks and much much more so yeah there's a lot to come in the game if we're sticking to those original trailers also interesting to know guys that there are bones on the map in game now and they look very reminiscent to this pal maybe it's the skeleton of this pal who knows guys but yeah pretty cool to see so there are three other powers we know are actually in the game files of the game we have right now. To a point, modders are able to bring these and put them into the game. You've probably seen a couple gameplay clips of these. I mean, PC modders can do some amazing things. So the first one here we'll check out is known as the Dark Mutant. In the game files, this one doesn't have a name attached to it. Now, this is actually a power people are calling 
a Mewtwo ripoff. Not the original Mewtwo. I think in in Pokemon, there's certain different types of Mewtwo's now. Can't say I've watched or played a Pokemon game in recent years, but yeah, people are saying this is just a ripoff of Mewtwo. I don't really see it myself, but hey, you can think what you think about this thing. All I know is it's designed, it looks cool in my opinion. Now this power hasn't got the details attached to it in the game files, like I said, but the next two have. And the first of the next two is Bolt Main. This one is probably the most famous power that isn't in the game because it's labelled a luxury Pokemon ripoff. And it was also rumoured to have been removed from the game, from the base game, due to looking too much like a Pokemon. I mean, that's all speculation. I don't think it's true. And I actually think this thing will make a return. Now, what's awesome about this one is it seems as though it's some kind of hybrid. In the game files, it's definitely classed as an electric type power, but its work suitability is in that kindling. So it's a hybrid between fire and electric. I hope with Bolt Main we see hybrid matching skills where they represent two elements working with one attack. That'd be absolutely amazing to see within the future. Hopefully, with powers like these, these crossbreeds, these hybrids, they introduce these kind of attacks which can breed into other powers in the game. That'd be absolutely awesome. Okay, so lastly, guys, you have Dragosta Feet. So, this is a power which we've seen multiple times within the trailers even being a final scene of a couple of trailers. So yes, although this is quite a popular power from the trailers, it still isn't in the game as of right now. Now this with Bolt Main, I do believe will come within the first content update, among a few other powers which I expect within another month or so. The game's dying out for new content, so yeah, hopefully sometime soon. Now, Dragostrophy is a Dragon Dark type power, where I believe there isn't many others in the game, probably one or two. But the size of this dude is also very impressive. Now we know from the trailers we'll be able to ride this dude. Uh, we've seen it a couple of times in the trailers actually. And also interestingly, upon the Power World Wiki it states the Power Deck entry attributed to this power has been found within the files. And it states it shares many similarities with the Power Deck entry of Astagon. Possibly hinting that these powers are somehow related or at least you plan to be at some point. So it's really interesting to know it shares similarities with Astagon, uh, but besides colour, I really wouldn't have thought so. In my opinion, it looks more like a Quivern, but that's just me. But yes guys, there we have it, seven pals that we know of that are not in the game as of right now. Will they come in the next content update for this game? Who knows? Let me know your thoughts on these down below in that comment section. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.